Hi viewers, welcome to TN Tech. So this is a series of videos that we are posting for the test driven development. So in my previous uh, part one video, you might have found uh, the controller test classes. And here we are going to mock the uh, service. Uh, that means we are going to write a test class for service where we'll be uh, mocking the car repository. And uh, it's also that test driven development and uh, yes so let's get started i'll go to the blog okay then we can start again i'll create the car service test let's put this class under the package service okay uh, we are not going to use any spring uh, related uh, spring test related frameworks so that means any classes annotations here since it's a service class is a business layer we are just going to use only Makito and JUnit 5 uh, for which uh, what I'm trying to go in, what I'm going to do is uh, going to use a mock it is a mockito annotation and I'm saying I'm saying that what what class am I going to mock for that I uh, will let's go and set up the car service and in car service let me say that we are going to fetch details from database so that uh, the data that database uh, will be get interacted uh, with the help of car repository and car repository is nothing but the interface let's create that as well And uh, there will be one method called find all through which we'll be getting the uh, that find all method will interact with the DB and will uh, it will get, fetch the data from the DB and that Okay, the car repository is done, but still we have uh, we need to import a lot more things for when we interact with the DB. But for now, we are going to mock car repository. So let's go back to car service. Yes, this is done. Uh, let me add the logic part. So you can see from here that uh, we are interacting with the another external class called car repository with the find by name method. We'll pass this uh, parameter and uh, it will interact with the DB and it will give us a, a optional of car. And uh, with the with the JUnit uh, eight optional uh, class, we can use one method called is present using which we can uh, ensure that whether it is present or not. So if it is present, it will send the car. If not so, then we'll be sending the car not found exception. So that's all about the business logic here. Let's go to the car service. So what am I going to mock here is I'm going to mock car repository. And where am I mocking? Where am I going to mock this car repository? So for that, I'm saying inject mocks car 
car service. Okay, now let's go to Okay, so here, since we are using annotations at the rate of mock, two ways that we can mock the uh, uh, objects. So one is using annotation, another one is using the uh, method called, uh, that means met mock, mock method, which is will be present inside the uh, mockito, like this. But here we are going to use mock. If we want to use annotation, so we need to ensure that it is uh, get uh, uh, initialized during the setup for which we are using uh, in the before each. I'm saying that make sure that Mercator annotation is got in it, in, initialized to this class. Okay, so everything is done. So I'm saying that if the car repository find by name passes with this value pulse, it should give me the result something like this. So if I run this one, okay, okay, we have few more problems. That means for now I can comment this part. List. Let's clear the compilation errors. Okay. Okay, now we we'll, let's focus only on the positive scenario. So this is what I'm expecting and I'm going to run it. So it got passed. So car service positive scenarios now tested. Now we'll go to the negative scenario. Negative scenarios also same. I'm, uh, I'm just passing the pulse as a parameter and the value and I'm saying that it, if it is not available it should throw exceptions and yes so using the JUnit 5 assets use JUnit 5's assets throws I'm just validating it that this method uh, gave me the exception which is of instance of cannot found exception so let's run all together. Yes, so everything is working fine. Now uh, let's uh, move to the move to car repository. So let's go and test the car repository part for which I am going to create car repository test. And here we are going to use uh, again Spring Act extension. And uh, just like a controller, the where we used a web uh, MBC test, here we are going to use data GPA test.
Okay. Let's copy Kong Posty test related code from the blog. Okay, so everything is fine. Look from here, you can find that I'm just uh, in the find by name, I'm just passing the duster. And if I check this, uh, whether the car based on this scenario, I need to have the car should present. And if I pass pulse, it should not be present in the car. If I run this one. Actually, it will fail. Yes, the reason for fail is nothing but in the car repository, we did not mention what is of type. That means it's not extends the interface called uh, uh, CRUD repository. And even now also it will not work because uh, the embedded database uh, that means H2 database will not hold any value for which uh, we are going to create the uh, uh, basic setup for the SQL. So I'm going to create a file called data SQL. And we'll copy the SQLs from here. Okay, skill script from here and uh, so what will happen since we are using the uh, embedded database h2 database um, when we run this test car repository let's close everything and only open car repository test okay and also i did a mistake i'll put under the package called repository So what will happen? So since we are using a little of data JP, it is it will it will take it will check for the uh, any database that configured. If not, it will take the S2 database. Uh, that means if you mention the S2 database in the pump file, so it will take that configuration and it will start uh, working uh, executing it. And uh, it will look for the data SQL and uh, based on the data SQL, first it will drop if the car table is pre present and if not, it will create the car table and insert all these details before even starts the uh, test and then uh, during the test uh, it will that setup will be done first and then it will this piece of code will be executed and it will check whether the db has this value if uh, if so then it will give us the result if not it will not uh, it will give us a uh, null class that means the car will not have any value so let's run this one now all together So everything is passed and here you can see that the uh, hibernate query language is uh, got executed from here you can see it's a real uh, 
real transaction has been happened uh, even h2 database so rather than uh, rather than connecting with the physical database like mysql even h2 database also we can convert to the physical database but for now we have mentioned this as an embedded database so once this, once this um, this cases is triggered initially uh, data those sqls will be executed and uh, the database will hold that value for the temporary time and uh, once this uh, test cases test, test cases was over and those data will be destroyed so, so you can so far we saw uh, car service and car repository test uh, uh, test approach of how to create the uh, that car repository and service classes so we'll see uh, in the next video about uh, caching and uh, how to verify the caching and uh, how to see the entire integration test until then bye bye from you ushananda thank you